They turned up for the recruitment exercise with high hopes that they will be given a chance to serve in the Kenya Defense Forces, only for tattoos drawn on their bodies to be the only hurdles standing between them and their desired jobs. Recruitment officer Lieutenant Victor Mburu urged the youth generation to be conscious of the fashion trends that they embrace in life. Uh, vijana wako na hii tendency ya kuweka tattoos, kuenda tattoos, you cannot be recruited into the military if you have a tattoo. So hiyo ni kitu ambayo nimeona ambayo sijaona somewhere else uh, in that uh, big numbers. Elsewhere, the popular great debaters teen show hosted by KBC has received 9.6 million votes from Safaricom through its youth network Blaze. The amount will go towards advancing conversations in the sustainable development goals. The fan thought provoking program will see each student from the winning team walk away with the latest tablets, medals and assorted gifts ampers from Blaze with the team patron banking 250,000. In Busia, Governor's Hospital Jamong has denied claims that the national government has released 3 billion shillings to counties to be used in paying doctors. In Viga County, over 244 women groups have benefited from 5 million shillings courtesy of Kenya National Affirmative Action Fund. Area Women Representative Dori Kast Kedego is urging women to venture in business as a way of improving their livelihoods. Meanwhile, chaos rocked Kaboto Market in Tharakanithi after leaders clashed over the border between the two counties. Police were forced to use tear gas canisters to disperse angry residents who pelted the officers with rocks, smashing the windscreens of several vehicles and blocking the roads. <laughs> If anybody who is armed here want to shoot anybody, attack one shoot me because we cannot be silent. What what we are and finally, in Turkana Central, hundreds of angry career residents turned out in large numbers for relief food distribution meant to cushion them against pangs of anger that has affected over 500,000 area residents. The affected residents received maize, beans, rice, cooking fat, salt, among others. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel One News Hour.